Summer Institute, I was hitting the pavement pretty hard trying to generate interest in breakout sessions for this conference. And I became pretty desperate because I was tearing off pieces of notebook paper and just handing them out to people who happened to walk by where I was seated. Okay. And this next person, I went up to her and I said, oh, please, 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 would you do some breakout session? Or session. I, you know, I wasn't trying to be greedy. I really wasn't. I just, one was fine. So she wrote her little proposals down. And she made sure that I got the paper back and at the bottom of the paper she had written, so will you quit hounding me now? <laughs> she also had graciously written down three topics for me to consider. Of course, they were all wonderful. One, however, stood out to me above the other two. And so I asked her if she would be gracious enough to do a keynote for us at the opening session. And she said, sure, not a problem, because that's just how this friend of mine is. I know you've all seen inside your uh, booklet a little tiny blurb about our pirate friend. So I'm hoping that she will forgive me for all the arm twisting that I did. But Abby is so inspirational. At the end of Summer Institute, when we were all sitting there thinking, oh, what is this next year going to be like? I now have to cover two or three libraries instead of one. I'm not going to have any para help, not getting any volunteers. Abby was the very first one in the crowd to speak up and just kind of help us all pat ourselves on the back and feel good about what the year was going to be like. And so that was the reason I asked her to come today and to help inspire all of us. And so she searched. And she found a friend of hers. Arr. This pirate friend. Arr. This matey. I'm allowing her to be captain of the ship today. Instead of just the first mate. So if you would all please welcome Abby Cornelius.
So, pirates are notorious boat rockers. They speak funny, they carry swords, and they don't allow others to create the policies that they live and work by. So, what can we learn from pirates? We can ask for forgiveness rather than permission. <laughs> we can encourage our students to find new ways to learn from the tech tools that they already use, even if they're blocked at school. We can adopt a broader vision of what fair use actually means and instruct our students accordingly. We can stop worrying about behavior in the library and focus on learning in the library. We can never shut up about the awesome things that we do for our students and teachers every day. We can tweet Facebook, YouTube to our heart's content, even if we have to do this from home to start. And we can tell our principals, administrators, school board members, anyone who will listen about how busy we are, how much kids are learning, how they ne there are never enough resources, and all the great technology that we could be using. We can rock the boat, never take no for an answer, and be brave. So, it's pirate time, people. <laughs> I wrote, well, rewrote, a little song. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called, Yo Ho Blow the Man Down. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do, um, tell me if you can hear this. It's my ukulele. I have to take off my coat. Okay. Can you hear that? It's loud enough. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna sing the first verse. Every other line is, Yo Ho Blow the Man Down. And that's where you come in. Right, crazy raucous librarians? <laughs> that's what I thought. So, I'm just going to do the first verse. Everyone will get the hang of Yo-Ho, Blow the Man Down. And then we'll start again. Okay? So, here we go. Oh, come all ye young teachers, teach kids to read. Yo-Ho, Blow the Man Down. And please pay attention and listen to me. Yo. Yeah! 
filling the gaps when gaps are created for us and when budgets are slashed we work harder to do the same job and I think, I mean to do a bigger job and I think that that is self-defeating. So, when budgets get slashed, you're going to have to cut some services and I know it's not popular but you can do it smartly and you can do it wisely and you can make sure that people understand that the library is the great equalizer. It is the one thing in the school that makes all the kids equal regardless of what happens in, while they were growing up or while they were at home or where, while they're not at school, wherever they are. So we know that what we do is important and now we have to crawl out of our little librarian shells and we have to be a little more pirate-like little less librarian-like, and <laughs> we have to make sure that people know that what we do is great. We know what we do is great, and that's great, great, but as long as everybody else knows that that's where our value will be. So, thanks for listening to me. Have a great conference.